little pig, little pig. Let me come in. <laughs> it's me, the big bad wolf. <laughs> I'm only joking, sweetie. Mm, but you do look good enough to eat. <laughs> joking again. Of course, I'm only joking. Mm, so you want me to be serious, that is. I just want what you want. So, um, I have good news and bad news. I think... I should tell you the bad news first, just kind of, um, rip it off like a band-aid, you know? Whoosh! Or whatever sound a band-aid makes. I'm not a foley artist, just get, on, get off my back. So, uh, the, the bad news is, um, I can't find my scissors, like, any of them, which is so weird, because I've got, like, kitchen scissors and sewing scissors and all, they're, like, little fancy ones that have like the Victorian time, you know, they got all those like little curly cues and these adorable little metal handle and I can't even find my cuticle scissors and I have no idea where they could have gone because like I never even really cut my cuticles and I keep them in the same drawer and then when I really need them you open the drawer and they're just gone. I mean, where could they go? Do you know what I mean? It's just so weird. Like maybe there's some portal somewhere. And all the missing dryer socks and these scissors are just out there having, like, a tea party or something. Do, do you think scissors can even drink tea? I'm not. I think tea's pretty good, but I'm more of a coffee person, you know? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, my mind is slipping there. Uh -huh. So, yeah, there are no scissors, like, anywhere. And I know I promised I would get these clothes off of you, and I feel awful. I mean, I never break my promises, ever. I kind of have this motto, like, you break your promise, I should break your neck. <laughs> oh, but not you, baby, not you, never you, because you would never do that to me, right? Because you're perfect. I mean, you waiting here so patiently for me, if that's not the sign of a perfect boyfriend, then I don't know what is. I mean, I could try and rip this shirt off with my hands, but it seems pretty durable. I mean, what is that? A rayon cotton blend? It's really nice. Oh, 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 but the, the good news. I have such good news. I found the knife. Um... <laughs> No, 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 baby, no, no, I'm not gonna cut you with this. I mean, I would never, ever, ever hurt my perfect, wonderful baby, not unless you made me. No, I'm gonna use this to cut your clothes off. Your clothes, not your skin. <laughs> I mean, your skin is perfect and soft and better than the most silky suede and it would probably make the most amazing suit but I don't just want your skin I want the person inside of the skin I want your eyes and your tongue and your heart and your bones and your muscles oh I especially want those muscles just all over me <laughs> sorry, sorry, bad girl, dirty mind And I know, it's scary, I get it You're in this chair and, and vulnerable And I'm here with my big old knife <laughs> I would have gotten a smaller one But I couldn't find my other knives No, okay, that was a lie I can't lie to you There's no way to start out of my life together I just, I... I do have smaller knives, but they're just all in the dishwasher, and I haven't run it yet, and I know, I, I eat a lot of steak and other things, and I, I know you're supposed to wash them by hand, but the washer always makes my hands, uh, the water always makes my hands all pruney, and then I read in this article, 
it said washing your 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 stuff by hand makes more water go to waste than just putting it in the dishwasher. So I figured I could just put them in the dishwasher. It's okay if they're a little dull. I mean, that's what a whetstone is for, right? Like this. See? Nice and sharp. No, honey, 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 stop struggling. I told you, oh, it's just for your clothes. It's not going inside of you. Just stop, baby, please stop. Stop. I said fucking stop, unless you want me to cut you. Oh. Thank you so much, baby. Just accept this. Trust me when I say I have nothing but good intentions at heart, the best intentions. So you need to stay very still, all right, sweetie? Stay very, 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 very still so I don't accidentally cut you. Let me just get on the top of you like this. I'm just gonna... Uh, sit on your lap here. Um, mm, straddling you is just heaven. Can you feel my heart pounding? Can you feel mm, the growing warmth between my legs? Because I can feel you. <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm just gonna take your collar like this and start cutting very slowly. Oh yes. Here we go. Be very still now. Mm, yes. There we go. Let's get this sweaty old shirt off of my darling's perfect flawless. Mm, yes, it's just going through like a knife through butter. No. <laughs> there we go. Mm, let me just stand up and take a look at you. Oh. sculpted from marble, except that would be an insult, wouldn't it? You're more perfect than any mere human could ever dream to be. You are the manifestation of male power and sexuality. You are an aphrodisiac in mortal form. Oh, God, yes, yeah, so... So much better up close and personal. Instead of having you through that silly little camera more amazing than I could have imagined. I'm I'm just gonna touch you here, okay, baby? Just on your chest. Don't fight me. I'm not gonna hurt you. The opposite, in fact, I only want to bring you pleasure as much as you bring me by just existing in my space. Mm. God, yes, your body is bliss. Can I taste it? Please, baby, I need to taste it. I promise I'll be gentle. <laughs> No teeth cross my heart and hope to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yes. You're so soft. And just a little salty from the sweat. Mm, your scent is just animalistic. Mm. Oh, the paint. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. 
I know I said I'd cut them off, but they're kind of tight. Um, I mean, I like them tight on you, but I'm worried that the big knife being so close to your delicate parts, it might just cut something that I don't want cut. And, and no, stop. Stop. Are you trying to trying to get away from me. Seriously? I just told you I wasn't going to cut you, and you're still treating me like I'm some kind of threat. That really, really hurts me, you know? Is that what you're trying to do? Just push me away? Because I will never let you go. Do you hear me? I won't let you push me away. No matter how hard you try to fight this feeling between us, I won't let you ruin your life because you're so fucking stubborn holding on to your past. Is that it? Is it... Is it her? Is she still corrupting you? I thought putting some distance between the two of you would do the trick, but maybe not. Oh... Now you shake your head no. Are you trying to protect her? No? I don't know if I can believe you, and that... That makes me so sad. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a chance. I want to take the tape off your mouth so we can talk, but I need you to promise me that you'll keep quiet. When I do so, do you understand? I love you so much, and I want to talk to you. I've wanted to talk like this in earnest for so long, but I'm worried that you're still so attached to your previous life that you weren't ready to open up to me like I am to you. So, I'm going to take this tape off very slowly to give you a chance to drink some water. You're probably very thirsty and, and to bond with me. We have so much in common. I know you know that, and I know you're scared to open up your heart. I'm afraid of being hurt again after that fucking harpy, <laughs> but I'm not her. I'm... Me, I'm your soulmate, a woman of her dreams, and you can trust me, baby. And I hope you can prove to me that I can trust you, okay? Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs>